is a snake in here somewhere. I guess that's no surprise to anybody. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight chickens. Where is it? Uh. Oh, I see it now. There it is. Rat snake. Oh, I like the eight he got. Oh, I you. Oh, I'm getting tired of them all things. Bitter. Got all these apples to pick here in the tree. What do they taste like? Are they sweet or oh you got a cicada on your shoulder. Maddie did that. Oh. <laughs> it's not alive then, no? Nope. Just sticking there. Is that your badge? Maddie would get mad, not me. So I'm gonna get some pictures before the light fails me. <laughs> Apple photography, everybody. That's yeah, what it's all about. This is, I'm also taking it with that camera. See. Mommy, mm. you're, you're going to fish with us, okay? Like, like. Like we can swap, like I can show them and then. Got all these pears which aren't ready. They're growing. Fishing hole over here. Oh wow, I dare you to lay in that. <laughs> well, I haven't been back here in so long. Alright, we'll try our luck with pond number two. Come on, I got one. Hey, you got it. Yay! Hey. Oh, nice. Oh, that's perfect. All right, pick the time. Hey, look at there. Bye bye. It's like, it's like jiggling. Hey, like, here, hold the fish. fish. Like, at the bottom of the mouth. What kind of fish is that? Yeah. Okay, bass. Stop it, fish. That scared me. Oh. Hold him steady. <laughs> You're like, oh, what? You got him? And you got him with bait. There we go. Artificial bait, Aiden? Yes. Oh, he's got hey, one look. too. Look at this. Mommy, push. Oh, you're so nice. Good daddy. Yep, he's a good one. Oh, oh, daddy, comparison. Who's bigger? Oh, here we go. Who's bigger? Yours is a little bit bigger. I don't know, they're pretty close. Alright. <laughs> yeah, catch them unless you get the hook in the water. Oh. Yeah. Brian got another one. That's three fish already oh. in the first three minutes. Wait, I got one! I, no, it's gone! <laughs> I think mean, maybe you got a little too quick. You gotta set the hook, buddy. Yeah, I forgot to make it. <laughs> I think I got one. I got one! I got it! I got it! 
Oh, goodness, they got another one already. Oh, oh and he got one too. Yeah, I was watching. Oh, get the stuff off of this. Oh, this is a beautiful fish. <laughs> All right, Maddie got one. <laughs> you got one? This is bigger. Oh wait, I think mine's a little bit, like, it's been longer well, than yours. Yours is longer, but mine's bigger. So it looks like twins. They're the same. Alright. Bye bye fish, have fun! Oh, look at those! It's a tiny one! Oh, how many fish is that now? Five? Dad, Six? Imagine. It's been here, I don't know, ten minutes. Whoa! Hey, Manny caught a weed. Oh, she got another. Nice. Oh, there's one. Goodness, well, the fishing's good here, that's for sure. Good. I'm gonna break his mouth. Got an update to you on the chickens. The little chicks here. Oh, we got a bug. Fighting over a bug. They're all doing good. They've got their feathers. They should be too big for a snake to eat. But we'll probably leave them in here for just a little bit longer. And then we'll move them into the coop. Although I feel like I should make some uh, sort of outdoor pen, rather. Oh yeah, got a wasp. Good for you, eat them wasps, they sting us. That one there, the mama's, was the barred rock that got killed by the coon. You can see her black and white markings. What do you girls think of these little ticks? Huh? What do you think? Came out to get some tomatoes. And this plant here looks like it's dying. I think they're ready. That one's mushy. Put these down here. Oh yeah, Ricky's asking what types I planted. It looks like a Roman tomato, but if I remember right, I just did beefsteak. But these are, do not look like beefsteak, so I don't know. Whatever. The tomatoes will work. It came right off. Oh, that's eight out of the end there. I. That over there to the birds. It rained today, so the potatoes all got some water. And yes, I've got weeds over there again. They seem to be doing pretty good. These don't look quite ready, do they? But they're coming off. No. You know, I'm one of those people that's like, oh, let's wait. Let's wait for it to get just a little more red. And then when you come out after doing that, something's already eaten it. So, makes me nervous. There's some more in there. Ew. See? See what I mean? Throw it to the guineas and the chickens will eat it. That one's not very good either. Uh -oh. We ate our first watermelon and it was absolutely delicious. We've got some more coming in. Oh, looks like one dried it over there. This one's kind of big. We got one pumpkin out there, it's about ready. Got some squash, funny looking squash I need to pick. 
Oh, a couple little ones there. Coming in. That one. Oh, something's eating it. Ugh, look at all the squash bugs right there, guys. I think that's what killed all the pumpkin plants. Is that not the funniest looking thing? Got them squash bugs on there. I'm gonna squash them. Chickens are loving those tomatoes I threw over there. <laughs> Pretty tasty stuff, huh guys? Okay, if you watched the last episode, we bought some cots that were too short for our taller people, so we ordered another one. This is a totally different brand. It's at Alpor. This is a foldable cot. It comes in a convenient little bag. It's kind of neat. It looks, like, it looks like a chair. Does she need help? It looks like a chair. Yeah, sort of looks like a little chair. This one has a little pillow on it. We'll see how this, it's kind of elevated on one end. So, oh. it's the exact same thing as a chair. Looks like it just slips off if you don't want it on there. Is it there? I don't know, is that what it does? Well, I thought it was, I thought it was supposed to be flat, except for the, the head of it. There we go. Okay, now it's flat. Now, now that's kind of what I was expecting the first time. Is I that better? It. Yeah, that's a lot better. Not so spiky in the middle. She, <laughs> she's like twice the size she was when Maddie brought her. I named her Nugget because she found her at McDonald's. And it was the cutest food I could think of for a name. Huh. And then Nate named her... McBourbon, because she was found at McDonald's under the Suburban. Huh. But she's playful now. She's not scared or running off. She loves to be held. She falls asleep on her lap. She's a cutie. Still need to find a home for her, though. Okay, I'm out here. I'm going to pick some sumac and show you all how to make sumac aid. I have this dog. This little puppy that's followed me, it's got a collar. I don't know who it belongs to, probably your neighbor down the corner. But, uh, likes jumping on me. Would you stop jumping on me? Where do you belong, dog? <laughs> oh my goodness. I've never seen this dog before. I don't, go home. I told you. We are a magnet for strays and all these dogs. I don't think it's a stray. He's got a collar on. But, um, what are you doing? Good jumping. It is an allergy day, so I have my glasses on. I've got itchy red eyes, which is another reason we're looking for to Alaska, because we do not have allergies there, at least when we went because we had them bad here in September when we got there we didn't have any allergies and it was awesome we have sumac on our property but I don't feel like getting chiggers and ticks and I don't want to climb in there so as you can see these are the deep red this is about the time to pick the best way to know is just to taste it it's got to be really sour um, some of them won't have any flavor it's a dark brown it's usually from last year you don't want to pick them excuse me you don't want to pick them right after it rained because it washes away all that acid that makes the sour taste. It's high in vitamin C and antioxidants, so it's really good for you. Yeah, there's quite a bit here. And there's also quite a bit of poison ivy, so I'm gonna watch out what I'm doing. Okay, there's a variety that has white berries, and it's poison sumac. And it's white when it's mature, because these here are white when they're growing. And I'll put a link in the description, or at the end of the video too, when I was foraging and we saw the this sumac growing and it had white berries but they turned red and I don't think Oklahoma has the poison sumac but uh, at least I've never seen it I know it's out east but I don't know where if they're fully mature and they're white don't eat them 
we'll pick those now and maybe this dog right here will behave himself <laughs> you need a drink don't you why are you following me does your family not pay any attention to you Alright, that's what I got so far. I think that'll be good. I made another batch day before yesterday. And it's it's about gone already. So we'll go back to the house and let it soak and I'll show you the process. And I'm sure this dog is going to chase me all the way down the road. You don't belong with us. You need to go home. We don't need another dog. We've got three. All three were strays. Okay, made it back to the house. I had to go really fast to try to lose that dog, but if that dog comes up the driveway, I'll most likely chase chickens and everything. So I'll have to keep an eye. And then the, if our other dog comes out, she'll probably attack it. Hopefully not, but we'll see. Let's go make some sumac aid. All right, we've got our berries in some cold water. And what we're gonna do is kind of squish them up. You're most likely gonna find some bugs and <laughs> spiders, non-venomous spiders. I personally don't like spiders. They terrify me. So we're just gonna keep squishing these. It'll release some of the, the flavor. Last time I did this, there were several spiders in here. <laughs> Maybe I'll put that uh, at the end of this video. You can watch my reaction. This is only my second time doing this. It's usually the kids that do this. Nicholas is the one who started on um, wild edibles and medicinal plants, so he kind of got us all into that. So the kids are the ones that usually make it. So you just want to keep squishing it in here pretty good. I'm surprised I don't have spiders by my army. So you can see me freak out and scream and everything. Okay, now that we got the berries all squished, we are going to let them sit for about an hour. The kids normally do it overnight, and I wanted to try it just an hour just to see what it tastes like. But you want to make sure it's in cold water, and if you do decide to let it sit overnight, it needs to be in the refrigerator because when they get warm, they get really bitter, and they don't taste very good at all. So I'm going to set it in the fridge for an hour, and then we'll come back and finish making it. I'm going to start by taking out all the berries, and then we'll strain it. I don't think we've ever made it this quick. They've always soaked it overnight, but recipes I've read only did it for an hour, so I want to see if it tastes any different. The best way to do this is if you have cheesecloth, but I don't, so I have this little strainer, and then I'm going to use a towel to do it over the pitcher. sugar. You can add any sweetener. You can do honey or stevia or whatever you want, but I'm going to do the sugar. I can't promise they all taste the same. What do you think? Does it need more sugar? Is that good? A little more sugar. A little more? <laughs> Alright, this one's better than the last one. Okay, just from having it, we've only ever had it soaked overnight. This is the first time just for an hour. I think it tastes better if you only soak it an hour. So, yeah, much better. I say soak it an hour in cold water in the fridge. 
and then strain it and then add your sugar. So we ended up with a cup and a half of sugar. And this is, is this half a gallon? I don't know you have anything. I think it's half a gallon. The recipes I've read is you soak one berry head to one cup of water. But I just fill the bowl up and then fill it up with water. I've never measured it, so it's very good. She's gonna try some. Founder went chasing that dog down the driveway. As long as she doesn't kill the thing, just keeps it away. Because I'm sure it'll chase the chickens and the cats and if there's something we all need to do, and need to do well, is practice target shooting here. We're going to start small with the 22 pistol and work our way up. Brian's going to set up a target over here. Boys are getting ready. They haven't really used a gun a whole lot. BB gun. 22. I guess they shot the shotgun a couple of times. What are we going to shoot? Some cans. Oh, okay. Some tin cans to start with. Alright, try to come out here. We got dogs over there. We got chickens over there. We got pigs over there. Got to find a safe spot. Aiden's been asking all day, so he's totally excited about shooting. We got our orders to wait by the trampoline. Oh, oh. Yes. All right, while we wait, setting up some more targets here. Oh, hey, there's the spice bottle I was looking for. <laughs> no. All right, we'll see how good the kids do the first time with this gun. So, always be careful where you point it, especially when it is loaded. Bullets can travel up to five miles. Yeah. If you shot it here, you could hit Granny's house with it. So always be careful. Know what you're shooting at and know what's behind what you're shooting at. In case you miss. Alright, we come over here. Pull this pin out. Pull it towards you like that. Don't, don't put your finger on the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Uh, you take, you just set your bullets in there, push them all the way forward. Oh, that's so cool. Always point it downrange. Hold it out. Away from it. Just like in the movie. There you go. Are you ready? How loud is it? Oh, I'm so just going to shoot. I don't know how to shoot it. I like the rifle. Just like it. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Made my hand jump. <laughs> Watch where you're pointing again. It. All right, aim. Let's see you hit something. Oh, that one was loud. Oh, that hurts. Wow, it, it rings. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, man, I thought you were going to see it. Nice. Huh? First check. You're so accurate with this. What one did he hit? Oh, the That's ranch cool. and the helmet. Oh, I see, yeah. Alright, reach your, Don't put your finger on the trigger until oh, yeah, you're ready to shoot. Exactly. You guys stay back behind the gun, please. Push it, there you go. Alright, now I'll set the bullets in there. It's so sad, son. Ooh. Feel. It's awesome. <laughs> I know, it is. What other guns do you next? Oh, that, that barely is loud. It's playing the roof. <laughs> I don't think the birds like this. Oh, 
It's not hitting anything. Imagine like a little bullet right on top of this. That's where the bullet's supposed to hit. So like oh, this is going to fill in this gap to make it flat and the bullet's on top? Exactly. So if you can imagine like the little bullet sitting right on top of that, that's where it's supposed to hit, wherever you're pointing. Mm -hmm. It's not like super accurate. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did it. Oh, you hit it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to get some protection. Yeah, we need to get some, <laughs> some stuff of our ears. <laughs> she hit it the first time. Oh, what? she hit it the second time. The shot? The shot Slow down. Take your time. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're making me nervous. You're telling me. See, I forget the rest of the camera. Focus on the target. Yeah. Very charging. You can't focus on the bear. You don't have to, but it's a lot easier if you do. Oh, okay. I've never heard anything too. Well. Got it. Yeah. Disappointing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You hit it. You're gonna go next. I hit the first one. But I didn't. I only hit two. Then I couldn't hear anymore. Oh. Yeah. How did you not hit that? There wow. we go. Pretty impressive, huh? All right, round two of shooting. Let's see, I hit one. Madeline hit three. Did the boys hit any? I didn't hit any. No. All right. Maybe this time. <laughs> All right, we got one. All right, Nate got two that time. Yep, we're getting better. All right, Connor's up again. Let's see him hit something. All right, nice. got one. Oh, you hit it. <laughs> Oh, you hit it! Whoa. Ooh, it's going too fast. Oh, oh! <laughs> I'm telling you, that hurt. Is there a way I can turn my head so it won't hurt so much? Does it not bother anybody else? No, it doesn't bother me that much. Oh, you shot something. Did I? Don't do it if it hurts your ears. Uh huh. Hope, Maddie. Oh, yeah. There we go, finally. Oh, she hit one. Oh, hit another. Did I? Mm. Whoa. Oh, got another. Wow, Daddy's set. We obviously need more practice. Yes, we do. We need more practice. The sun's going down, so we'll catch you all next time. And you're probably going to find spiders and little bugs in there. That's part of the process. Yeah, so... What? <laughs> <laughs> that, oh. that would mean there was a spider on my hand. <laughs> You know what? Why don't you let me finish this? <laughs> let me do this for you, Mama dear. Uh, where did the spider go? And I just well, plunged... don't tell them where you went by now. <laughs> I just plugged berries all over the floor. <laughs>